Hello there everyone, how are we all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating a modern house in The Sims 4. So as you may have seen from the thumbnail, this is actually a real life house that exists on a real life website. Um, that came out weird, but you know what I mean. Um, so I did see it online and I thought, you know what, I've got to recreate this. I have done this before on my Instagram. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram, it is in the description down below. Just a quick little plug there. <laughs> but um, this was so much fun. Like, I've not had a chance recently to just be able to just do stuff like this, just freely. And it was absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed this. Um, one thing I am quite sad about with this, though, is the interior they didn't show on the website, which really upset me because I like seeing their interiors and trying to recreate it. Um, but obviously with this one, I couldn't do that. So... If you guys have any like builds that do do that, then please let me know because I love that so much and it makes me so so happy when I'm able to do that. So if you have one, let me know. <laughs> Maybe send it to me. I am always looking for new floor plans and stuff like that to recreate because sometimes the one on the estate agents just really aren't the vibe at all. Like I just can't deal with it. So if you have any, please let me know. Please send them to me on any of my social medias. They're all in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I will definitely do them because I am obsessed. This was so great though. I really enjoyed doing this. It made me really happy when it was done and it looked like really like it. And I was like, yes, yes, this is what I need to do from now on. This is incredible. Um, one thing I do want to talk about quickly is the new packs that are meant to be coming out. Obviously, we don't know what they are yet, but I will be releasing a video soon where I talk about the different theories and stuff. Um, I hope it's werewolves. I really hope it's werewolves because... If you don't know this channel, you may not know, but I love occults. I, I'm obsessed with occult sims. I think they are amazing. I think they are awesome. And yeah, we need more. We need werewolves and preferably fairies because in The Sims 3, they had fairies. But now they're like, no, no fairies now. No, -uh, no, thank you. And that is so sad. Like I want fairies back. I really do. Because if you haven't watched my video, I did create a video once where... I did make like a fairy and a fairy house and stuff, but it's just not the same. I want big fairy wings and stuff like that. You know, like it makes me sound so childish saying it, but I would be obsessed. I would actually start crying if they release fairies. Um, I will try and get the packs as they release. However, it's 16 quid. <laughs> it's very expensive for me. I am a college student who currently does not have a job. I am desperately looking, but yeah it's really hard to like try and get the packs as they come i'm a bit of a get them on sale girl because the reductions are all i need in my life and i need them right now <laughs> um it's quite sad really but um yeah i will try and get them as soon as they come the werewolf one i think i definitely will i'm not too sure about the kits it depends on what they are because i don't really want to waste my money on a terrible little kit you know that's just something that i don't want to do like at all I'd rather just like spend money on an actual pack or a stuff pack or something like that. Like the Buster Dust kit, I know it came with gameplay, but my god, it's a terrible pack. It's literally, I've not got it. Like, I'm not saying that I do. I do not have it. But to be honest, with the lack of detail with it, like you get five build mod items, you get five items in the whole pack for a fiver. That's like a pound an item. I know there's little bits of gameplay, I'm not disputing that. But, I mean, come on, it was broken as well, which, I mean, that's just EA all over, really. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was broken, and that is upsetting to me. Like, just make packs that work, please. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, ah. But, yeah, I'm not going to go on an EA rant, because I do that every video, and it gets really monotonous and boring and stuff, and I'm just not doing it this time. It's not happening. Let's talk about the build. <laughs> um, so I did leave the garage empty in the end. I know I don't know if we're up to that bit yet. It keeps glitching, so I've got no idea what bit we're up to. But um, yeah, it's the garage was bare because I just didn't know what to put in. To be honest, I couldn't be bothered typing in the cheat to be able to go into debug. I'm sorry, but I was very very tired when I finished this off, and yeah, it just it weren't working that day at all. I've just had loads of exams. I've got my A-levels coming up next week and I am really, really nervous for them. Um, and yeah, it's just not fun. It's just not fun at all and I just don't want to do it right now. <laughs> um, also, one thing I do want to talk about, why is there no good sliding glass doors? I know I don't have all the packs, but surely there's got to be some better sliding glass doors than the one we currently have. Like, um, 
I tried to fit him in the little space at the front and it just wasn't quite big enough or it was too big and I just I don't know it just it upsets me a little bit let's just say that because I want a big sliding glass door that can fit in like good places like I don't think that's unreasonable that space just didn't fit a sliding glass door like even the eco lifestyle ones it just didn't fit and that's just really upset me because I want good sliding glass doors I want like gorgeous little sliding glass doors that like beautiful stunning you know that's what i want but we don't have that and that is really upsetting to me because get more sliding glass doors get more stuff get more but yeah <laughs> i honestly i haven't got a plan for this video at all i haven't planned like what i'm gonna say or anything so i am just kind of totally winging it at the moment and i think that's coming across like really badly so i apologize greatly for that the upstairs was absolutely adorable there's like 50 bathrooms in this house I'm not even joking because I worked on the floor plan um, for the interior and yeah there were just loads of bathrooms like, everywhere there's I think there's four bedrooms like and that's just way too many for me I don't know how to furnish all them bedrooms because I can do like two tops and then like match them up a little bit make them a little bit different but with four what am I meant to do with four bedrooms that's just like baffled me completely I was just sat there like what do I do what do I do here <laughs> And it just proper upset me. I was like, no, no, I don't want to do four bath four bedrooms. And then there were like three bathrooms as well. Literally the bathrooms are the most basic things you will ever see. I did kind of give up towards the end of the speed build because I was just like, yeah, no, it's not happening today. <laughs> it's just not happening. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, no. Also them cabinets. Um, I don't know where we're up to now. I think we are way past the kitchen. But I'm still in the kitchen because it keeps glitching. Um, the cabinets from Dream Home Decorator are absolutely stunning. And I am absolutely obsessed with them. However, why are they all the same? Like, I wish that EA would do a thing where like they gave us a bit more variety with them. I know there's like the different kind of like sizes you can do and stuff like that. But why can't we just have like a different one altogether? Like just completely different. Just completely out there, completely stunning. And just like, I don't know if I'm explaining this right. But all I basically mean is, like, if you have one cabinet and then you just place it, place it, place it, place it, place it, it's all going to look identical and it's all going to look a little bit boring. But if you have, like, multiple and, like, you have, like, different swatches for it and stuff, I'm not explaining this well. I don't know if you know what I mean. But, yeah, I know what I mean. <laughs> I know what I mean and that's all that matters. But, yeah, my brain just isn't working today and I'm really sorry about that. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd have more of a plan going into this. Um, I am extremely hungover as well, which probably isn't helping with my case at all. So that's fun. Um, one thing I did do in this build that I absolutely loved was the little collages. Collages. Col How do you say that word? Collages. There we go. Of um, little black like, paintings and stuff. I am absolutely obsessed. Like the one in the living room just ended up absolutely stunning. Like I used the one from, what's that pack called? The kit? Decor to the Max. I used the one from the Decor to the Max kit and then the one from the Paranormal stuff kit like kind of came around it and then I just used some paintings to fill it in. And oh my God, that might be the best painting set I have ever done in my entire life. I was like so proud of myself. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I had a massive empty gap in the middle of like the hallway. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do like an activity there but i had no idea like for ages i'll play some like pianos and stuff like that i just had absolutely no idea what to do and then it kind of hit me just put like a random table in there and then just put random stuff in and then hopefully it'll look okay <laughs> and it kind of worked i did like the kind of crochet thing that came with cottage living and that kind of worked i know it's not quite modern but it is the best i could do you know i'm, I'm tired leave me alone but anyway, we are coming to the end of the video now, so thank you so, so much for watching. If you like my content, then please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, like I said, a video will be coming out soon where I talk about the new packs that are coming out and stuff and the roadmap in general. I think I'm going to wait until the roadmap actually comes out though. So, I don't know. I'll let you know. But I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!